Might be getting up, y'all. Oh, oh, almost. Oh. <laughs> almost. One more throw. No way. Oh. <laughs> yep, I knew. <laughs> Hi, Mink and Bone Gang, Vinny here. Today is a, it's a good day. It's the start of hunting season. Squirrel season opened two days ago. And uh, we're out here with my buddy Jared from outside the levees right there. Got a little boy Jack with him. And we're gonna try and shoot some of them uh, tree rats. But first, we seen some uh, rabbits coming in. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get a few of them little bunnies. And then uh, off to the tree rats. So yeah, we're gonna cut this intro pretty short because I'm ready to get after it. I love hunting season, waited for it all oh, summer long. Weather's feeling fine. Good eye, buddy, good eye. Jack just spotted a squirrel on me and Jared over here walking and talking. <laughs> we looking at the ground for rabbits and Jack's like, squirrel. And he would have been an easy shot too. Yeah, see. Ah, he stopped right there in the middle last I seen him, but he could either be hunkered down right there or but you know, a squirrel, you can walk all the way around the tree and he'll just stay on the backside. And stay right there, let me see if I walk around. And the problem is, early in the fall when there's all these leaves on the trees, they're harder to see. That also makes it tough for the 22 because I gotta stop and aim a shotgun. I can yeah. pull up and pop them. It's more of a long distance gun. Reach out and touch them. Oh, wait, hold on, is that one? Get to this side of the road. Where we can, you won't see it. Hopefully, we can get close enough without him jumping off. We just spotted a rabbit. Dun, 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 dun. Just past that light pole right there. That power pole, I should say. Oh, you go first. Should be able to hit him from here. You think? Did he drop? I believe he did. I hope so. It looked like he's smoking. I think there's another one on the left, too. <laughs> the first shot I knew I was like, when I squeezed the trigger, you know, first shot of the season, I pulled left. I, I, see the I don't see him yet, but it looked like he's <clears throat> right here. Go, go, go. He went in. I missed him? Yeah. Thanks. Dude, you were so close, though. Yeah, I'm definitely better with a shotgun. <laughs> well, I thought you smoked him. No. I need some practice. I need some practice, Jack. I ruined it. He, he gave us a second chance. I know. He gave me two shots and I couldn't do it. Sitting still. That's why I'm not a sniper, Jack. Got me kind of thinking. If I couldn't hit a rabbit sitting still, how the heck am I going to hit a squirrel with this thing? <laughs> He's right above you. He's on that limb. Where'd you go, buddy? You see him? I see where he went, I don't see him though. Yeah, it's tough with a 22. I might have to go back to the shotgun. I could have had him. Did you get one? No. No, I see him I see he went in this tree right here, but I don't see where he went after. Yeah. I'm gonna go get that shotgun, y'all. I can't hit a squirrel on the move with a 22. I ain't that good. By the time I get him lined up in the scope, he gone. Get that little shotgun. And I'd have been able to take a shot and we'd have ourselves a tree rat. Don't make fun of me now. I just I just ain't got that much practice with a rifle. Uh oh. Did he get him one? 
I ain't heard, I ain't heard nothing fall yet. Unless he's shooting at that coyote. I just went back to the truck to get the shotgun. And they had a coyote cross this road come into the woods right here. But I don't think that's what they're shooting at. I think they're shooting at the squirrels. All right, look, Benny. I believe I'll see him here. All right. Your barrel's crooked like mine is. He didn't like that. No, I think I hit him. Come right here, see if you can see him in the binoculars. You got a little spot right here that I can look through. Here, look. you. Oh, oh here. he's moving again. Hold on. Go ahead. I got him. Dude, what's wrong with these guns? <laughs> he's right in there? Yeah. Let me see. There he goes. He's coming down. Oh, there, he there he is. No. Oh. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> These daggone bulletproof squirrels they got out here. Don't want to be throwing my shell in the in the woods, man. Got to clean right, up. Oh yeah, Reb. Oh, he's getting tanned. I'm tanning that hard. <laughs> you tanning the hide? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. He's pretty, man. Mr. Look at that tail. Mr. Benny, boy, get this on the board this morning. Oh, yeah. Hell of sucker was cool. Little male. That thing is cool. Yep, that's a nice you one. You want to pick him up? Yeah. Pick him up. Here you go, man. Get you some blood on your hands. That's good luck. Now, what happened is, so we would both keep missing, but what people don't understand is down here in southeast Louisiana, the reflection of the light off of Venus hits the moon in a certain way, and the gravitational pull, especially in these particular woods on, on this particular day, uh, mixes cold. with the humidity and it messes with the shot so you just got to compensate for that and you can hit them all right we just spotted a rabbit fairly certain it's the same one he's in the same spot this time i think he's gonna give jack the shotgun hopefully jack's a better shot than me no i think he ran in Ooh, I love the smell of black powder in the morning. Think he missed or hit? Uh, I didn't even see. I don't think he hit him. The rabbit didn't, uh, he didn't like pop. He just went in. Oh, popped his head up. Oh, I think he went in. Oh, no, he's still there. He's still there. Take him while he's standing. Did he get him? No. Okay. I heard BBs fly. Yeah, it's all practice, Jack. We're gonna practice for cans, okay? We're gonna get you some cans. Once you, once you get used to hitting cans all by yourself, you'll be right. Yeah, because you can see me and your dad can't shoot neither. So. If you want to see how really bad I shoot, watch my duck videos. All right, y'all, we got a rabbit up here. We're gonna go see if we can get a shot on him. Feel good about this one. They let us get surprisingly close. You see him, Jack? <clears throat> yeah. I'm just gonna ease up on him in a non-threatening manner. And he's a spot and stalk rabbit hunter. Check him out. Okay. Yeah. Boy, if this ain't the most Elmer Fudd. I'm hunting for rabbits. Uh. I mean, we we literally are him right now. <clears throat> oh, he just put his head back down. It's like we're hunting deer, huh? Wait for him to put his head down. Let's see. Goes back to eating, take a step. He's playing one, two, three, red light. I think he's looking away, huh? Yeah, he's looking away right now. Oh, oh, oh. How far do you think that is? Too far. <clears throat> well, I should have brought the, if I had my 12 gauge, I would. I'll try to get a little bit more. Oh. He shot right over him. Did I? I think I winged him. He looked like he was running funny. He looked like he took off kind of funny. That's why I thought maybe I hit him. Oh, crooked barrel shotgun. No, he's in here. He's right there. Yep. Yeah, I'm trying to find his head. I was, I'm pretty sure I winged him. Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, you got him? Yeah. Actually, you know what? You mind grabbing my 22 out my Jeep? We got him right there. And he's not moving. He's hunkered down. But I don't want to shoot him with the shotgun up close. So he's going to go get my 22, And I'm going to dispatch him. 
right here. He is right here. I think he might. He might already been. He might already be dead, but actually, I think he is dead. Oh, well, almost. All right. Well, I stand corrected. Vinny did get his rabbit. I thought he shot over it. He's up in the briars, Jack. But they do. They go hide in that stuff. Ooh, that's some thick stick of bushes too. <laughs> oh, the mosquitoes got me, man. Oh, they coming out of these bushes. That's where they at. I know. No, I got it, baby. Thank you. Baby. That's okay. There he is. There we go. And he got his wabbit. <laughs> Look at Elmer, boy. Look at Elmer. Yeah. Well, you ain't going hungry. That's nope. for sure. Had to cook a little wilderness stew. Uh huh. There's your coyotes. You hear them? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know we'd be tracking through the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Run and start. Oh, oh, there we go. <clears throat> That's in the wrong place. Might have to grab that on the way back. You want to get out of here? Yeah. Why? Because there's so many mosquitoes. Because what? Yeah, the mosquitoes, they're everywhere. Louisiana State Bird? Yeah, the Louisiana State Bird. Literally here taking a thumbnail picture. Oh, yeah, see him. <laughs> over here taking a, trying to take a thumbnail, and I just look over and there's a squirrel. No, he just went this way. Benny's seen a squirrel right in here. I had to catch him before he uh, he was running across that little log right there. <laughs> I mean, he disappeared when I shot him, but I don't know if he ran or oh, I just knocked him off. You gotta go look. Oh, I'm gonna go look. Let me grab me another shell though, just in case. Yeah, all right, bro, that's all you. Yeah, I got Have it. fun in there. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun. Oh, we got nothing but Grand Canes around this place. Hi, Vinny. I'm going to be mad if I didn't shoot that thing. I <laughs> uh, no. You got this, buddy. Easy for you to say. <laughs> All right, y'all, Vinny's got an operation going on here. I don't even know if I shot the squirrel in him. All right, let me toss him his rope. Yeah. Now you got to get it around the tree and pull yourself up. You might be getting up, y'all. Oh, oh, almost. Watch me. I don't even know, folks. Watch me. I will survive. <laughs> One more. One more throw. Two more throws. Vinny, I really hope you have a squirrel in there. Yeah, me too. Me too. Oh, come on. <laughs> Actually, I don't know how long it's going to stay there, but it's on there. Oh, boy. No way. <laughs> yep, I knew. <laughs> All right. Almost there. I just need to get it. Just need to get it on the other side. Benny, you got to put more into it, buddy. A little bit. A little bit. There you go. No, it's still got the um. point. It keeps bouncing. Maybe. No, you need to turn. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> okay. 
Pull your pants up. There you go. Oh man! I guess you did that for nothing. And no. Catch and release. That's all that was. Get all right, bro. <laughs> we gotta get you out of here. You all right, bro? Yeah. All that for a squirrel I didn't even get. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's all part of it. It's all part of it. <laughs> well, I guess one scrap it, one scrap it. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just have to make do with that one rabbit and that one squirrel. So I got my little uh, pressure cooker multi-purpose pot thing in my jig right here heating up. We're gonna go ahead and drop a little bit of this here. Olive oil on the bottom, get that warmed up, lubricate the bottom like so now we got both of our little critters right here all cleaned up washed up ready to go i'm gonna dust them a little bit of that all-purpose flour right there just gonna give them a little dusting like so i roll them up in there get them all coated in that flour not heavy just like i said a light dusting now i'm gonna go ahead and do this one at a time just so i can make sure they get in there and all touching the bottom but i'm gonna go ahead and brown the rabbit first It's sizzling. It's sizzling. All right, now I was able to fit both of them in there. A little Tetris. A little Tetris move, maneuvering. Oh, there we go. Look at that brown. That golden brown. Oh, big old rabbit. There y'all go. Oh, me. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Ooh. Almost dropped that on the floor. Come here, rabbit. I said, come here, rabbit. Get on out of that. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Look at all that goodness right there. I'm gonna show y'all what we do with that. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up some of these onion. Get a little bit of that onion and maybe some bell pepper in there. Maybe even a little touch of garlic. Add a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Ooh, why is it uh why y'all disappeared? Why why is it so dark? Ooh, that got scary for a minute there. I'm gonna scrape the bottom of that, get all that brownness off the bottom of the pan, get it mixed in that water. And that's what's gonna give our flavor. For the gravy. Now that that's getting all heated up and that water starting to bubble, I'm gonna throw these little here bouillon cubes in there, which I ain't never really used, but we didn't have no uh no chicken stock or nothing, so I'm gonna toss that in there. Hopefully that does what I'm looking for. I think that's how that works. But as y'all know, I ain't no gourmet chef, bro. I'm still learning, yeah. Ooh, we getting better though. We getting there. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this here Worcestershire sauce to the juices. I like this stuff, man. It makes it real good. Nice and dark, too. A little splash of some hot sauce. Some paprika. And everything gets better with time. And don't forget your black pepper. Stir that up one more again. I'll go ahead and season this here rabbit and squirrel with some Cajun Creole. Come on, now, flip over. Come on, flip over. There we go. Catch that other side with it. A little bit of that for the gravy. And I know we ain't cooking steak, but this stuff is so good on everything. This is that Montreal steak, that uh, grill meat Montreal steak. We'll put a little bit of that on there too. A little bit for the gravy. Drop this in. Drop all that in. And I'm gonna go ahead and dump these onion and bell pepper right on top. A little bit of that garlic juice. A little bit more roasted garlic, just sprinkled right there on top. Let me show y'all what that look like. Ooh, on the chow. Look at that. Now I'm gonna slap the top of this bad boy on here if I can remember how. Nope. Nope. That sound mean I did it right. And we're gonna pressurize this bad boy. We're gonna go down to about 15. And then let me tell you why. We're gonna do 15 and we're gonna check it. And if that meat's starting to be where I can pull it off the bone, that's what we're gonna do. That way I don't wanna cook it all the way down. And then the whole time you're eating it, you're chewing on bones that little fell apart. And the squirrel got them little tiny bones, you know what I'm saying? So why you went off? Oh, I didn't hit start. Let's try that again. There we go. And then once that happens, we'll throw it back in there and just leave it on simmer. Just let it simmer until it's done. Let it soak up all the juices, you know? Now, normally when I do this, how I used to do it, still sometimes do. I take a, I take a cast iron pot, throw it on the stove, do pretty much exactly what you've just seen, 
and then let it cook for a long, 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 long time. But this speeds up the process, tastes very much similar. Of course, probably tastes a little bit better in that black uh, cast iron pot just because it's low and slow, got a lot of love in it, got a lot of finesse. Anyway, I'll pick it up when it's done. All right, now let's see what we're working with. What we're working with. Come on now, what's the matter here? There you go. Ooh. That's pretty. Oh yeah, we'll be able to pull that meat off. Let's get this out of here right fast. All right, now we got the rice. Starting to cook on the stove. Let me get the rabbit out of here. And this little squirrel. Ooh, hopefully they don't break apart. I'm trying to pull it out. There we go. Get that rabbit. Oh, yeah, boy. Ooh, look at that. Now, that's edible already. Now, it's fully cooked, but I want to pull all this meat off of there, and then we're going to cook it a little bit more, saute it a little bit more in that gravy. And them juices. Sure, look at that. Coming right off. I'm going to toss that right in that pot right there. Just comes right off. Look at that. Just peeling it. Mmm. Oh, that's going to be good. Look, get all that rib meat. Get it all out of there. Ain't nothing but the bones left now, nah, boy. Look at that. Look at all that meat and them juices. Rice done, too. All right, now I'm going to put it on just simmer and let it simmer a little bit longer. And then it's going to be time to eat. Now, there's a couple ways you can go about this. As you can see, I got this nice loose gravy. It's a little, a little watery, but I like it like that. It ain't too bad. Put it over some rice. Now, I can throw some flour in here, thicken it up. I could throw some of that brown gravy powder seasoning stuff. You can thicken it up like that. Or, after you brown it, when you take that out, before you put anything else in, you can make a little roux with that brown stuff that was at the bottom of the pan. Make a nice little roux with some flour and some oil. And then go about that, but we're going to save that. We're going to do that when we get our first neutral of the season. We're going to cook ourselves a little neutral stew. Nice dark, dark root, thick gravy, some potatoes, some carrots. Oh, me shatty, bepty boy, I cannot wait. It's going to be so sauceable. Let me see if I can do this with one hand while I hold the camera. We're going to get a little bit of this here rice. Oh, no, I better set that down. I'm going to make a mess. There we go. Put my rice right there in the bowl, a little bitty bowl like that, a little tasty, tasty, tasty. I'm going to scoop me some of that squirrel and rabbit with them juices. Man, I ain't got no teaspoons. All I got are these big old shovels. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, I love this time of year. It's going to be a little hot now. Guess I didn't get all the bones. Let's try that again. There it is. Mmm. It's on time, people. It's on time. That is good. Well, I'm going to go sit down and eat this so y'all ain't got to sit there and stare at me eating. I know my wife hates when people eat on camera, but you know, somebody's got to do it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to be doing a little bit more squirrel hunting, a little bit more rabbit hunting, a little bit more duck hunting. It is that time of year, and I am super stoked about it. Weather's starting to get cooler. It's just my favorite time of year. Well, thanks once again, folks, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up button if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. Catch you on the next one. Okay, bye.